Good morning, my people, depending on where you are watching or seeing this video from. You know, I've been thinking for some time now, like, why is it that in our schools, we do not have some certain syllables that is important to human life? Why is it that we don't have some certain syllables that is important to human life? Two things or two topics I want to talk about. The topic of sex and the topic of marriage. But for today, I want to concentrate on the marriage. The same marriage is a union of two between a man and a woman. You know, sometimes I put it that marriage is a union between two good forgivers. The man must learn to forgive the wife and the woman must learn to forgive the husband. For them to be able to live together successfully. Because whether you like it or not, in marriage, there will always be clashes. In marriage, there will be quarrel, there will be fights. So a man that finds it difficult to forgive will find it difficult to cope in that marriage. A woman that finds it difficult to forgive will find it difficult to cope in that marriage, regardless of the offense. In our world today, we see a lot of stories about marriage, divorce. You see some, some people will marry within one year, within two years, within... In fact, there have been, I think there have been stories of marriages breaking up within a month. And my question is, what happened along the line? Because before these people get married, they will always be all over each other with butterfly in their stomach and all of that. You will, they will date, maybe some of them will date for some years, months. And then you come together as husband and wife. You find it difficult to stay together. And then the marriage breaks. So what happens? So that is why I think that in our curriculum, in our syllabus in schools, marriage should be added to it as a subject on its own, not a, not a, not a, a topic under social study. Starting from secondary school to the university level, there should be a, 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 a curriculum for marriage. Because this has to do with human life. Marriage had made a lot of people, and marriage had marred a lot of people. I've heard stories of how wives killed their husbands. I've heard stories of how husbands killed their wives. In fact, I've heard stories of a man, of a woman, who ganged up with his pastor, with a pastor, to kill the husband who is working in a notable company in Nigeria, in order to inherit his property. My question is, what happened along the line? You and this man dated for some months or for some years. You were all over each other in love, madly in love, with a lot of butterfly in your stomach. Then along the line, what happened? That what happened that I got a point of you as a wife killing your husband or you as a, a man killing your, your wife? What happened? So, Marriage is something that should be taught in school. From secondary school to university level is something that should be taught. So that our mind will be prepared. It's not all those ones that we do. They say, oh, go to marriage counseling that you do it within, within a few months or within a few weeks. What you learn from marriage, marriage counseling, I'm sure by the time, in, within one year of marriage, a lot of people have really forgotten what they learned. But if that curriculum had been there right from secondary school and the kids sinking into your head, sinking into our head, by the time you get to university level, you are, you've graduated and you want to make that decision to marry, 
you decide whether to marry or not to marry. If I, even before you get to that age or that stage of marriage, based on what you have learned over the period, based on what you have learned over the years, you'll be able to decide whether you can cope with marriage or not. Marriage is mysterious. Marriage is mysterious. You have somebody that you have been in love with for the past months, for the past years, as in courtship, and then you get married a few years down the lane. That person that you used to call my honey, my love, my sweetheart, has now become your enemy. Enemies in love, enemies in marriage. That person that you used to call all those lovely and sweet names, you now call that person by his or her name because of one issue or some issues or the other. So it is something that I believe that should be inculcated into the educational system, not only in Nigeria, not only in Africa, but in all over the world. All over the world, marriage has killed a lot of people. You talk about abuse, you talk about rape, you talk about so many things that happen in marriage. So these things should be taught to prepare the mind of the young ones who eventually get married. And then those that are not interested in marriage can make up their mind before then. There are many people today that are in, their, in marriage and they are regretting ever getting married. They are regretting. And there are many people that are still single, many young men and many young women that are still single today. And they are feeling bad that they have got to a certain age, yet they've not married. And they are feeling depressed. They are not there yet, so they don't know what it entails. And the moment they get into it, one two, three years to four, five years down the line, you discover that this same set of people that were almost getting frustrated, that were almost got, getting depressed, some of them are now regretting why they got married. So, marriage is important. It is something, in as much as it's important, it is something that should, I believe, should be inculcated into our syllabus in the educational system so that we can learn it's not just you can't just learn about marriage by reading a book i mean there are a lot of motivational speakers a lot of uh, uh, pastors and relationship coach have written books yes in as much as there's one or two things you can learn from those books but i tell you few months or years down the line you that you've forgotten that you read that book where you are faced with reality but if it's a curriculum you come as a curriculum from school that i've been taught there are some of us that we, many of us went to school some of us that are accountants today some of us that are lawyers today some of us that are doctors today it is something we learned from school we started it from secondary school. From secondary school, you chose your career path. Oh, I want to study mercy. Okay, that means you have to be a science student. I want to study banking. That means you have to be a commercial student. I want to study law. That means you have to be an art student. And then you followed it like that until you got to university and eventually studied the course you want to study and you are practicing. Marriage should be like that. There should be a course like that. That everybody, just like we have it back then in secondary school, and in university, year one, year two, GST, you must do it. Everybody must do that course. As a fact, do it from year one till the end. So that by the time you are graduating, your mind will have been prepared either to choose to marry or to choose not to marry. Marriage has destroyed a lot of people. Marriage has killed a lot of people. Marriage has thwarted the destiny. Of a lot of people because supposedly or in quotes they married a wrong man they married a wrong woman so there is a mystery or the topic of marriage is a mystery in fact marriage itself is a mystery 
And as such, I am of the opinion that it is something that should be taught. It is something that should be taught. What do you think about this topic? What do you think about marriage being part of our educational curriculum? Please drop your comments. God bless you.